Okay, okay. <laughs> Let me get my, hold on, I'm getting my equipment set up here. Hold on a second. Okay. Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. However, before I start, I need to know if you can see me, if you can hear me. That way I know everything is okay and I can go ahead and start. So I need a yes. I see a yes right there, Lolly. Y E S S S S S. <clears throat> Thank you. Hello, Lolly. Hello, Sewu. Yes, Ava is here. Let's see who else. Fran is here. Tomas is here. Fantastic. I saw Rita earlier. Good to see Rita, Peter. All right, the green team is here. The green team is strong. All right, all right, all right. Also, Vera, I see Vera. Yes, Vera, I see Mia. All right, Mia. Maha, all right, all right, all right. Radu is in the house. Helga is here. Nor is here. Norman is here. All right, today is going to be a good day. I know it because just looking at the chat, seeing you guys here, Leonardo, I know it's gonna be a good, good day. All right, all right. Monk is in the house, all right. Fantastic, fantastic. Ishani is in the house, all right, all right. Well, let's, um, well, bef before we do anything else, let's have a toast for good luck. Yes, we always have a toast for good luck, so let's go ahead and do that right now. If you have a beverage, if you have a drink, pick up your mug, pick up your glass, pick up your cup, whatever you are drinking from, pick it up for our toast. Yes, our first toast will be to the green team. Yeah, the members, they make it happen. They support me, they support the channel by supporting me, by supporting the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team, yes, the people in green, you see their names right there in the chat. They are green. They support me. They support the channel. They get a big, big thank you. All right. Thank you, green team. Cheers. If you don't have a cup or um, whatever, <laughs> just fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Yes. And because we had a toast, we need a drink. Yes, we do. All right. All right. Ava is here. Oh no, Ava. Oh, I'm, I'm going to forget. I forgot how to say cheers in Czech again. Um, ah, oh, okay. I'll get back to that. <laughs> All right. For our second toast, our second toast is for you. You are here. Thank you for being here. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. No, no, no. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So I want to say thank you. So let's have a toast for you. Yes. Let's also have a toast for a fun, interesting, productive, and informative lesson today. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. Bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Yes, we do. Mmm. All right, all right, all right, everyone. Lolly, wow. <laughs> no, Lolly, you're the best. Lolly, you're the best. <laughs> right from the beginning, yes. I knew it. Today's going to be a great day. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Lolly, love you. Mwah. Much appreciated. Much appreciated your kind, kind support. Love you, Lolly. Mwah. Yes, I do. Lolly, you're going right there, right here. You're going to have your name right here. And of course, you get a big heart. Yes, you do, Lolly. You get a big, big heart. <laughs> yes, because you are so, so kind. Yes, you are. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, Lolly, for the kind, kind support. I really, really appreciate it. Mwah! Yes. All right. Yes, I am energized. I'm feeling good. It's cold, though, here in Japan. It's very, very cold here today. Yesterday was freezing. It's still cold today. 
However, you are making me warm. Yes, you are here. You are making me feel good. You are making me feel warm. So thank you for that so, so much. Yes, yes. All right. Well, for today's lesson plan, it's right here. We are going to do, what is it? A review from Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, or Wednesday. No, a, re a review from Wednesday. All right. So we're going to do, what is it? Then after that, we're going to go, which is better? I'm going to give you a choice of two things. You're going to tell me which one is better and why. Then we will do finish the sentence. I'm going to give you a pattern and I want you to make a sentence. Yes, use that pattern, make your own sentence. All right. Then we will do dictation cards. Yes, we will. Today's, dic blah, blah, blah. Today's dictation cards are from you. Well, from the green team. All right, so we're using the sentences from the green team, yes. Then we will do Lolly's Revenge, yes. My beautiful Lolly, yes. We're doing Lolly's Revenge, yes we are. Okay, well, today, oh thank you, a kiss right back again, Mwah. You can't have too many kisses, you can't give too many kisses, no, no, no. They're just endless amounts is okay. <laughs> okay, all right, well. Let's get right to it, shall we? Yeah, okay, let's get right to it. So our first activity is, what is it? I'm going to give you a clue, and you're going to tell me what it is. And um, I have <clears throat> four cards right here. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to give you clues. I'm going to give you hints, and please tell me what it is, all right? So what is it? What is it? It. And then the reply, of course, is it's, it's a. Uh. That is the reply. It's a. Uh. And we're going to have, we have four cards. So we do one, two, three, and four. And I need four magnets because there are four cards. So right here I have one, two, three. I have four magnets. One, two, three, and four. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I see Fran. I see Simon. All right. I said Ava. Yes, yes, yes. Mwah. Okay. All right. So let's do it. Yeah. Let's um, do what is it? Oh, heart souls in the house and be happy here. Great, great. All right, so I'm going to give you a hint and you tell me what it is. Okay, our first card, our card number one, the hints are it's an insect. It, it has a stinger. Nobody likes them. <laughs> Nobody likes them. Um, they do not make honey. No, no, no. They do not make honey and they're pretty big they're pretty big um yes 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 helga okay here here we go hints again um they are an insect they do not make honey no they don't they have a stinger they have a stinger meaning um at the end of their tails they have a a, a um like needle and if it goes in you, if it goes in your skin, they um, transport poison into you. And it hurts. Yes, it hurts very much. And you got it, everyone. Yep. So one more time. They are an insect. They have a stinger. And they do not make honey. They do not make honey. And you got it. It's a wasp. It's a wasp. Oh, okay. Scorpions, right? Um, okay, I should another. Okay, here we go. One more time. The clues are four clues. It's an insect. It has a stinger. It does not make honey and it flies. It flies. <laughs> what is it? It's a wasp. Yeah, okay, Marco. So not a scorpion, but a wasp. Okay, good, good, good. <clears throat> that was card one. 
Okay, card number two, and the clues are, clues are, um, this is a thing that measures time. It measures time. So when I say measure, um, how long from point A to B, this, this keeps track of how long it takes to travel from point A to point B. <clears throat> so it measures time. There is a button on top where you start and finish, start and stop, not finish, stop, start, stop, start, stop, yeah, and we use this like for example in um, sporting events, okay, so sport, we use this in sporting events, this measures time, and there is a button to start and stop, start and stop, and you have the correct answer, Seibu. Lolly, yes, Radu. All right, Marcos, yes. Here, no, Alice. <laughs> You're, Alice was here Wednesday, but that is not the answer. <laughs> it is a stopwatch. Yes, it is. It's a stopwatch. Good job. That was card two. Good job. <clears throat> okay, number three. We're moving right along. We're moving, moving. Keep, keep the, keep the ball rolling. Keep the, keep the train on the trucks. Um, stay the course. <laughs> okay, card number three. Card number three. It is, it's a bird. It can fly, of course, a bird fly. So, so it can fly. It has a long neck. It is usually white. And it likes the water. <laughs> it is, okay, good, one more time. It is large. It has a long neck. It likes the water. And it can fly. It's large. It has a long neck. It likes water. It can fly. It is usually white. And yes, Helga Hashem. How are you doing, Hashem? Yes, Radu Lali. Very good, very good. Oh, oh, Marco says swan. I don't know the dip. This is a goose. It's a goose. I don't know the difference between a swan and a goose. I don't know. If you know, anybody knows the difference, well, what are the differences? We have, we have like, for example, we have ducks, we have, a, we have ducks, geese, swans. What, what, they all kind of look alike. They all kind of look alike, don't they? Um, ducks, geese. So goose is for one, geese is um, plural for more than one. So, so a duck, ducks, goose, geese, Swan, swans. So I'm not sure the the three, right? We have um, ducks, geese, and swans. I don't know the difference between them. I'm not sure. Okay, good, good. Um, all right, here we go. One more, one more. Card number four. Here we go. Um, this is used in a laboratory. Um, scientists use these for experiments, maybe, to measure liquid, um, large amounts, large amounts of liquid mm, done with experiments, used in a laboratory, made of glass. There is a, a scale on, on, on the glass, there's a scale. So when I'm saying it, measurement of liquid. All right, so stopwatch measures time. This measures liquid. This measures time. This measures liquid. Yes, it does. I just spit on my computer. Boop. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, good, good, Peter. Yes, Sewu. Ava, you got it. Okay, Lolly says swan is an aquatic bird. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, so they, that means aquatic is water, so they, they, 
live in water or by water. They need water. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's a beaker. It's a beaker. So it measures liquid. It measures liquid. Okay, yes, yes, yes. So that's so a stopwatch matches time or no measures time. A beaker measures liquid, measures time, measures liquid. A wasp flies, a goose flies. So we have two flying things and two measuring things. Measure, measure, fly, fly. Measure, measure, fly, fly. <laughs> okay, nice job, everyone. Yeah, so <clears throat> that was a review from Wednesday, right? So we did what is it on Wednesday. And so today, um, well, on Wednesday, you see the picture and you guess what it is. On Friday, I give you clues and you tell me what it is. And that way, um, you're able to think about the clues, think back of what we learned on Wednesday, and then you recall. And so it's good review. A for Anna is in the house. How are you doing, Anna? Mm. Okay. Good, good, good. All right, here we go. Our second activity. We're, we're moving. We're keeping the ball moving. We're keeping the, the train on the tracks. We are staying the course. <laughs> you like that? One more time. We are keeping the ball moving. We're keeping the train on the tracks. And we are staying the course. <laughs> One more time. I, that's kind of fun. Okay, here we go. One more time. We are keeping the ball moving. We are keeping the ball moving. We are keeping the train on the tracks and we are staying the course. <laughs> okay, our next activity. Which is better? Which is better? So I'm going to put a hash or the, these, not hash, but um, 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 dashes. These are, these are dash, 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 dash. So, so I'm putting dashes here. I, a, a dash line here and our activity is which is better okay so which we use that for two items right <clears throat> which one do you want which one do you like which one is better okay so we're using which for two things and I'm giving you a choice which do you want which do you prefer which is better? Okay, so that's why I'm using which. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 that's for like singular, right? Which is better? If we're doing plural, right, more than one, then we say which are better, right? You know that, of course. Okay, so which is better? Which are better? Okay, so this one, our first card, is which are better which are better okay so here we go which are better you tell me what and why which one and why <clears throat> which are better planes or trains 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 <clears throat> which are better planes or trains all right, so planes, trains. Which are better, planes or trains? And why? Which are better and why? Because saying why, that means you're using English, right? You're, you're explaining your, your reasoning. You're explaining um, your opinion in English. So this is one. Which are better planes or trains okay Marco says planes <clears throat> please tell me why oh they are faster okay good Marcos good so Marco Marcos prefers planes because they are faster okay good let's see Helga planes are better than trains because they are faster Lolly says planes are better than trains because they are faster. Okay. Uh, Heli says planes because planes are faster. Radu, trains. Okay, we have a new, we have a different opinion here. Radu says 
trains because they do not pollute as much as planes as long as they are electric. All right, so Radu, uh, his opinion, and that's a, a very fine opinion there, Radu. Hashem says, planes because they are faster and more comfortable. More comfortable. Planes are faster and more comfortable. Okay, Fran's on the board. Fran says, I prefer planes because we can cross the ocean. That's right. That's, that's a good point there, Fran, right? Um, yeah, so that's a very good analysis, Fran. Samuel says, planes are better because of their speed. Now, that's a different sentence, same meaning, but different sentence. Good job, Samuel. All right, Tomas says, trains are better because they have um, more space for passengers. Oh, that's a good point. So trains have more space for passengers, right? Where we're, um, a plane, right? We're, we're all kind of, there's not much space for people, but trains have more space for people. Good, good, good. Tomas, Ava says, um, for me, trains because they stay on the ground. So <laughs> Ava likes trains because they stay on the ground. They don't take off, right? They stay on the ground. They have tracks and they move along on tracks. So Ava likes that. Okay. Ethel, planes are better than trains because they are faster. Alice says, planes are better because they, oh, because they, um, they travel further. Okay, travel further. Alice says planes are better because they travel further. Longer distances. Longer distances. Let's see. Simon says planes are better than trains because they are faster. Sebu says planes are better because planes can go anywhere in the world. Planes can go anywhere in the world. All right. Yes. Sebu, if we want to go Anywhere we can take a plane. That's right. Okay. Um, yes, I am from Los Angeles. Someone said USA English. Yes, this is American English because I'm American and um, I was born in America, but now I live in Japan. <clears throat> I am American. I speak American English. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Yeah, oh, Radu. Trains have more leg room, for sure, for sure. Gaga says planes are better than trains <clears throat> because they're, they're more commonly used by young people. So planes are used more by young people than trains. So young people use planes more than trains. Young people use trains more than planes. Okay, Rita, Rita, how you doing? Mm, a long time no see, Rita. Rita says, trains are better because they're more economical, but planes are faster than trains. So, um, trains are more economical, maybe um, use less energy, maybe cheaper prices, but planes travel faster. So. Trains are more economical, but planes travel faster. Trains are more economical, but planes travel faster. Good one, Rita. Good one, good one. Okay, A for Anna says, Trains are better because we can see breathtaking landscapes. Oh, A for Anna. Very good. So, when we travel by train, we can see the, the landscapes, right? We can see mountains, we can see forests, we can see buildings, we can see the landscape where on planes we just see blue sky, right? So very, very good, A for Anna. I like it, I like it. You guys have many, many great um, opinions and reasons. I love it, I love it. Ava says planes are better because we can visit our daughter in Canada, right? So. So with the plane, we can go over the ocean. So that's fantastic.
Mm. All right, here in Japan, <clears throat> our train system is very, very good. I'm from Los Angeles, California, where um, we don't really have trains. Now they're making, they're building subways now, but um, they're, I don't know. I've, I've been in Japan for 25 years now. And when I lived in Los Angeles, really, there weren't really any trains. But now I think they're starting to build trains. Anyways, but here in Japan, our train system is very, very good. We have a bullet train we call Shinkansen, which gets us places very quickly. And then we have like our local trains. So basically in Japan, it's a small country and you could get anywhere by train. And trains are very convenient here in Japan, very safe. And um, they're, they're pretty economical, I guess, the, the normal trains. The, the bullet trains, the Shinkansen trains are a little expensive, um, but um, if you need to go somewhere far, then you take a Shinkansen. <clears throat> but if you just want to go to the next city over or in your town, you just take the, the regular train and it's pretty economical. And I think most trains here in Japan are electric. Um, so anyways, so that's great everyone. I loved your, your answers, your reasons, your opinions were fantastic. Okay, let's do another one. All right, let's do two. Number two, number two. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, now this is a uh, is, okay? This is, we're using it is. Which is better, swimming or running? <laughs> Which is better, swimming or running? Which is better, swimming or running? Please tell me your opinion. Which is better, swimming or running? Which is better, swimming or running? Please tell me your opinion. Why, why, why? <clears throat> okay, so which is better, swimming or running? Which is better, swimming or running? Okay, please tell me why, 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 why? Okay, Helga says swimming is better because it's more pleasant. <coughs> oh, sorry. <clears throat> sorry. I always get a little cough. I get excited. Yeah. I get nervous. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was water. So I'm drinking water and coffee. Yes, they go together. <laughs> They're good together. I like drinking coffee and water together. They go together. Okay. Marco says, um, swimming for sure. You don't get any, oh, you don't sweat. So swimming for sure, because you do not sweat, right? So you do, if you go running, your, your shirt's all wet, everything, you're super sweaty, but when you're swimming, um, you're in water. So <laughs> you don't feel sweaty. Maybe you're, you're still, you're sweating, but you don't feel sweaty. Okay, good, 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 good. A for Anna says swimming is better than running because it burns more calories. Okay, so A for Anna is saying swimming is more, um, you burn more calories, so it's better exercise. Good, 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 good. Devender, how you doing? Mwah, Devender's in the house. How you doing, Devender? Radu says swimming because you can burn more calories since you are using every muscle in your body when you are swimming. Nice one, Radu, nice one, nice one. Good morning, Devender. Vera says, running is better because it's safer. Running is better because it's safer. Right, if you're swimming, you can drown. Ah, I can't breathe under the water. I can't breathe under the water. Okay, good, good, good. Tomas says, running is better because it is simple moving. Yes. Lolly says, running is better than swimming because you can run at any time and anywhere. Yes, very convenient. That's a good point, Lolly. Running is very convenient. You could um, go anywhere, go at any time. All you need is some um, 
shoes and a shirt and shorts and you could go running. Where swimming, you need a pool, you need water. So it's a little more complicated. Swimming is a little more complicated. Yes, yes, good, good. Peter says, swimming is better because it's healthier. Fran says, I prefer swimming because it is Okay, I'm not sure what you, what, one more time, a, or that was, um, yeah, Fran, one more time, please, Fran. I didn't quite understand, so um, please um, write your answer again. Rita says, running is better when you are in a dangerous place. <laughs> you have to run away. That's right, Rita. You're, if you're in a dangerous place and you see dangerous people, run, run, run. Run for your life. Ah, run for your life. Run for your life. Ah, run for your life. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, oh, Ava, I missed Ava there. Ava says, running is better because I can't meet a shark. No sharks. So when you are running, there are no sharks. That's right, Ava. Ava does not like sharks. Hey, Smith, how you doing? Smith is new to the team. So everyone, um, everyone welcome. I'm not sure. Lee Smith. So everyone welcome Lee Smith, everyone. Okay. Welcome Lee Smith. Yay. Lee Smith is a new member. Good to see you. Um, Lee Smith running because you will get a good body. So, so running will keep you in shape. Running will keep you in shape. Running will keep you in shape. Good one. All right. Uh, Nor says swimming because swimming is. Oh, oh, I just missed it. Okay. Here we go. Nor says swimming because swimming is a sport like running, but it feels better. But you feel better in the water. So, so Nor feels better in the water. So more comfortable. So maybe Nor feels more comfortable swimming than running. I feel more comfortable swimming than running. I feel more comfortable swimming than running. Very good, Norm. Marion. Marion's in the house. Yes, Marion says swimming because you develop more muscles. That's a good point. Devender says running because anyone can do this activity outside, but for swimming you need to take coaching before swimming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point. Devender Devender says that um, um, running is better because it's anyone can do it, right? We're just naturally it it just run, right? But swimming is a skill you have to learn first, right? So you have to learn to swim, and so it, it takes um, more time. It takes more skill. So running is better because anyone can do it. Okay, great. Fran, or no, 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 no. Um, okay, okay. Fran says, um, is soft for articulation. O okay, so maybe um, Fran, so swimming is better because there is um, less stress on your body. I think that's what you mean. So when, um, when you're running, your, your body's pounding on the ground, right? So, so your, your, maybe your joints, right? Like your knees, right? When you're running, you're, you're pounding, pound, 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 right? Your body's pounding, so maybe your, your um, joints, right? Like knees and hips, right? Or, or taking more stress, where when you're swimming, it, it's smoother, right? And so less stress on your joints and um, bones, right? Okay, good one. Good, good. I think that's I think that's what you mean. All right. Sewu says swimming is better because you can wear fancy bikini. Oh, so Sewu is saying swimming is more fashionable, <laughs> right? So, so um, there are many types of um, of of swimwear, swimwear, right? So you can swim and look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, Sewu like swimming because it's more fashionable. Okay, good Sewu. All right. Um, 
let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm checking the, the chat right now. Okay. Monk says, running is better because um, it'll make you stronger. Running is better because it'll make you stronger. All right. Monk. Yeah. Lee Smith. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, so Tomas says he got a hip articulation so I can run again. Nice one. So Tomas is back on. Tomas is back ready to exercise. Great, great. Tomas. That's right. I remember now you're doing rehabilitation and that was tough. But now you're, you're back on the road. You're back on your feet, Tomas. You're back to start exercising and that's good for your life. Exercising is good for your heart, for your lungs, for your muscles, for your mind. So exercising is very, very important. Okay, yeah, friend, love you. Mwah. Okay. So Tomas has a new hip. He can go and run, but Tomas prefers swimming. Okay, good, good, good. All right, all right, everyone. Nicely done. Okay, um, Samara says swimming is better because it's good for back pain. Oh, swimming is good for back pain. Very, very, very good. All right. Um, okay, nice, nice, nice. Ride do swimming because you can encounter sea life, which does not happen often for most people. Yeah, yeah. So, Ride do. I used to, when I lived in Los Angeles at the beach, I would swim in the ocean and you encounter um, lots of um, sea life. So that is nice where you're running, you're encountering cars and people and noise and, um, and trash and things like that, right? Where, where if you're in the ocean swimming, it's very quiet. Um, you encounter, um, you can see fish and dolphins and things like that. So, so yeah, so I, I do like swimming in the ocean. It's very pleasant, peaceful, yeah. So good, good points, everyone. Yeah, you, well done, everyone. Good, 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 um, good opinions, fantastic. Um, okay, so we did these two, which is better. We, we did which are better, so this is nice. We did both, which are better. Um, planes or trains, and I think most people said, well, we had um, different opinions, of course. Planes, we can, we can travel farther and, of course, faster, and we can travel over the ocean, over water, but trains can be um, safer, trains can be more economical, trains can be more comfortable, right, more space more leg room on a train, um, cheaper pricing, right? So, so good, good, good points for both planes and trains. Both have good points, right? And then, um, which is, which is better swimming or running? And we had good opinions. Of course, swimming is, um, less stress on your body. Um, maybe more comfortable swimming. Where running, it's, it's um, easy to do. You could do it anywhere, anytime, anywhere, right? Okay, good, good, good. All right, now, well done, everyone. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's do our, let's, let's keep the ball rolling. Let's keep the train on the tracks and let's stay the course. <laughs> All right, for our next activity is Finish the sentence. Finish the sentence. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's finish the sentence. I have three. <clears throat> I have three patterns. All right. So I want you to make your own sentence, please. Make your own sentence. And um, let's do it here on the board. Let's see. I'm looking for space. We have space. Okay. Let's do it right here, shall we? Right here. That's a good idea. <clears throat> finish the sentence. Yes, 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 yes. 
Okay, so here is our first pattern, everyone. Pattern one. I saw. I saw. I saw. I saw. Okay, so I want you to make a sentence using I saw. Okay, I'm going to, I can start right here. Yeah, right here. I saw. Okay, I want to see your sentence. Marcos, do you know what they call Japanese food in Japan? Ta tabemono. Tabemono. Food in Japanese is tabemono. 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 Okay. I want, what is your sentence? Uh-oh, Radu, I saw a bank robbery while I was buying a sandwich. Oh my, oh no. I saw a bank robbery while I was buying a sandwich. Oh, Ava says, I saw my friends. I saw my friends. Nice one, Ava. I saw my friends. I like, yeah, that's a nice sentence. I saw my friends. Good, 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 good. I saw my friends. Oh, Devender, I saw a movie yesterday. Nice, Devender. Helga, I saw a hedgehog at my house. Oh, I, okay. No, 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 no. Helga, every summer we would, we would put that in the present tense. We would say, I see hedgehogs at my house every summer. So, so saw, it, it happened in the past, okay? Where every summer, it, ha it, it continues to happen. If it continues to happen, we do not put it in the past. So this is the past, see saw. Okay, Tomas says, I saw deers in my garden yesterday. Very good. <clears throat> Devender says, I saw your conversation videos yesterday. Thank you so much, Devender. Mwah. Much appreciated. Oh no, Peter, I saw a wasp. Ah! Right here. <laughs> right here. I don't like wasps. No. No, I don't. Lee Smith says, I saw your lesson on YouTube last night. Thank you, Lee. Yes, I appreciate that so much. Monk says, I saw very beautiful. Oh, okay, Monk, I saw a very beautiful watch in the store. I saw a very beautiful watch in the store. I saw a very beautiful watch in the store. Okay, Monk, one more time. I saw a very beautiful watch in the store. Good, good, good. Oh, Marion, I saw the North Star. The North Star. Nice, nice. Oh, Tomas says, I saw the um, eruption of Etna on TV. So I saw um, the eruption of Etna on TV. Tomas, one more time. I saw the eruption of Etna on TV. Uh, Ava says, I saw very nice boots. I saw very nice boots. I saw very nice boots. Oh, oh Gaga said, I saw tears. I saw my husband's tears for the first time. I saw my husband's tears for the first time. I saw my husband's tears for the first time. I saw my husband's tears for the first time. Well done. That was um, Gaga. Well done, Gaga. Maria is in the house. Mwah, Maria says, I saw myself in the mirror. I saw myself in the mirror. That's what Maria says. Uh, Lolly, I saw Mark's video yesterday. Oh, Lolly, thank you so much. Fran, 
I saw a skunk yesterday in my garden. P U. No skunks. Leave. Leave skunk. No skunks. Say, I saw a snowman. Yeah, right now it's cold. You can make a snowman right here. Right now, you can make a snowman here. Ava, I saw a beautiful man. Oh, Ava. Be careful, Ava. Ava, be careful. <laughs> Remember your husband, Ava. Be careful. Okay, um, Marion says, I saw two cops. I saw two cops. Run away, run away. Okay, Gaga, I saw a familiar face through the shop window yesterday. I saw a familiar face through the shop window yesterday. Oh, oh, Helly says, I saw a ghost last night. Ah, oh, no, don't. Oh, no. No, no, Radu, don't come to my house, Radu. Radu, you cannot come to my house. Please do not come to my house. A for Anna. I saw a troop of fish. No, a school of fish. All right. So we say, we say A for Anna, a school of fish. So that's a, a group, right, together. And we say a school of fish, a school of fish. Ava, you saw my live stream last night. Thank you. Ava, love you, Ava. Mwah. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I see. I understand, Ava. Thank you. Oh, Vilmar is in the house. Vilmar says, now and then, now and then, I saw a car accident on the corner of my street. Okay. No, 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 no. So, now and then means it, it happens repeatedly, right? So, we don't put it in the past. Okay, Vilmar, if now and then means sometimes, right? Sometimes. And if we use sometimes, we do not put that in the past. Okay? So, um, Vilmar, we, you would say, now and then I see a car accident. Okay? So, that doesn't work. So, please um, write your sentence again using, using the past tense, saw. Okay? Okay, Devin Durr, I saw my wife angry with me yesterday. So, I saw my, okay, Devin Durr, I saw my wife angry with me. I saw my wife angry with me. I saw my wife angry with me. Tomas, I saw our cat, hold on, it just, I just missed it. Okay, I saw our cat and she caught a little mouse. Okay, so we're in the past. So here we go, Tomas. I saw our cat. She caught a little mouse. I saw our cat. She, okay, we can do this. I saw our cat catch a little mouse. Okay, so, so we can do that. Okay, so that's actually better. That's a better sentence. Okay, here we go, Tomas. I saw our cat catch a little mouse. I saw our cat catch a little mouse. I saw our cat catch a little mouse. Ava, thank you. Mwah. I hope your husband's not jealous. I hope, Ava, I hope your husband is not jealous of me. <laughs> A for Anna. I saw. I saw Devender had been schooled by his wife. Scolded, sorry, scolded. Uh, A for Anna, I saw Devender, I saw Devender scolded by his wife yesterday. Okay, here we go, A for Anna. I saw Devender scolded by his wife yesterday. Okay, good, 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 okay. Nice, nice. Radu, I saw a chimpanzee waving and smiling at me. <laughs> okay. Oh, Donna says, I saw my sister angry with me. Oh, no, Donna. That's not good. Okay, D. Smith. Oh, thank you.
Good, good. Yeah. So D says um, he um, he likes this way of learning tenses, right? So so what's best is many examples. So good good point, Lee Smith. So what we're doing is we we have one one tense, right? Or we have one example saw, but we're doing lots of examples, right? So that really helps you understand, and that really helps you. Um, reinforce it. So, so the more examples, the um, better you'll understand, right? So it's really good to have lots of examples. So you guys in the chat are making lots of good sentences. So everyone's getting lots of practice. So we're all learning this, how to use saw, right? So, so well done. Right, well, well done. Rita says, I saw my money disappear from my wallet. When I went to the market, ah, I hate that. Rita, that's always a problem, right? So you open your wallet and you keep taking out money. You go to the market, you open your wallet and money comes out. <laughs> money flies away and oh no, like my wallet is always empty. <laughs> oh no, oh no, I don't like that. <laughs> Okay, A for Anna. So it's always good to correct your mistakes. So fantastic. A for Anna. She, she fixed her sentence, which is great. So Anna's new. Her corrected sentences. I saw Devender scolded by his wife yesterday. Perfect. Perfect sentence. Yes. All right, all right. Okay. Radu says, I saw Mark's live stream and learned a lot from it regarding English and Uniqlo. <laughs> so Radu, I saw Mark's live stream and learned a lot from it. Okay, live stream. Oh, oh, live streams. I'm sorry. I didn't see. Okay, you put live streams, so that's plural, so them. Okay, you're correct, Radu. I'm sorry. Radu, I saw Mark's live streams and learned, learned a lot from them. Good, good. I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay. Yes, A for Anna. Well done. Okay, let's do a new one. All right, let's do another. So here we use I saw. Okay, so well done. You guys are, this is great. Everyone's doing really, really well makes me very very happy all right so let's 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 do a new one okay here we go are you ready for number two number two here we go our second pattern okay our second pattern is i bought i bought i bought yeah Learnt. Uh, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on. I gotta double check something. <laughs> I don't wanna give the wrong answer. Yeah, okay, so, so A for Anna, either one is okay. So for the um, past participle, let's say when we're using have, um, you can use learnt or learned. So, so A for Anna, both are fine. Both work. Both are fine. Okay, I bought, I bought. That's our next pattern, I bought. I bought, I bought. All right, so that is our next pattern. So please write sentences, I bought. I bought. Okay, so I want to see your sentences. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, it is, friend. That's right, friend. Okay. A for Anna. You're, you're, A for Anna's on the board. She's, 
she's fighting today. Fight on. Okay. I bought Fran a bouquet of flowers yesterday. Very kind. Very kind of Anna. Helga, I bought some chocolate for me. <laughs> I bought some chocolate for me. Yes. Good. You, Helga, you deserve it. You deserve it. Ava, I bought, okay, shoes, Ava. There's no, that's plural, so we don't use A, okay? <clears throat> so, Ava, I bought new shoes. So, ah, uh, no, no A there. So, Ava, I bought new shoes online, from an online shop. Okay, here we go, Ava. Please fix your sentence. I bought new shoes from an online shop. I bought new shoes from an online shop. Okay, Ava, please do that again. Marion, I bought two roses, two roses. Whoa, Hashem, I bought a new house yesterday. Congratulations, Hashem bought a new house. Congratulations. That's a big purchase. That's a very big purchase. <laughs> Marcos is in the house. How you doing, Marcos? Marcos says, I bought a new, oh, I bought a new fish for my aquarium. Nice, nice. Marcos, what kind of fish did you buy? What, what, what is the type of fish you bought? A goldfish? <laughs> did you buy a goldfish for your aquarium? Uh, Lolly says, I bought a lot of onions for a pie. Okay, how about this, Lolly? I bought a lot of onions to make onion pie. How about that? Okay, Lolly, please um, do this again. Please write that sentence again. I bought a lot of onions to make onion pie. I made a, no, no. I bought a lot of onions to make onion pie. I bought a lot of onions to make onion pie. Oh, I bought a six pack of beer. So we say six pack. So, okay, Lolly, I bought a six pack of beer. I bought a six pack of beer. Okay. Whoa, Tomas, I bought a kilo of bread. So that's a lot of bread. A kilo of bread. What? What, Tomas? I bought some liquid bread. It is the beer. Oh, I understand. So Tomas is calling beer liquid bread because beer has lots of um, of of um, carbohydrates, right? And so um, yeah, and and beer is made from wheat and hops, right? And so that's what bread is made from wheat yeah okay good tomas say i bought okay i bought kinds okay i bought a few kinds of herbal tea or i bought a few different kinds of herbal tea okay i bought a few different kinds of herbal tea okay here we go say one more time i bought a few different kinds of herbal tea I bought a few different kinds of herbal tea. I bought a few different kinds of herbal tea. Okay, Lee Smith, I bought a new laptop with my friend. Oh, congratulations. Lee Smith got a new laptop computer. Congratulations. I want one. I want a new one. I, I, my, so my laptop is a Mac and it's fine. It's working fine. But I don't like the keyboard. The, the the new Mac, the new Mac has they changed the keyboard. So I want a new Mac for the new keyboard. I want a new Mac for the new keyboard. But um, they're expensive, and this one is still working good. So ah, maybe next year. Maybe I'll get a new one next year. Lolly, I bought a lot of onions to make an onion pie. Perfect. Marion, I bought a new car. Oh, Marion, congratulations. Marion got a new car. Congratulations. That is a big purchase. 
That is a big purchase. <laughs> Lolly, I bought a six pack of beer. Okay, here we go, Lolly, one more time. I bought a six pack of beer. I bought a six pack of beer. Okay, I bought, Monk says, I bought a bottle of milk. Okay, so okay, containers of, okay, remember we need of for containers. So, for example, Lolly bought a six pack of beer. Monk bought a bottle of milk. I I bought a can of a can of coffee. <laughs> Here in Japan, they sell canned coffee. So, like for example, I bought a can of coffee. I bought a jar of peanut butter. I bought a bunch of bananas. I bought a bag of nuts. I bought a cup of coffee. I bought a tube of toothpaste. I bought a carton of a carton of what's it? A carton of ice cream. I bought a carton of ice cream. I bought a box of cereal. Okay, so when we're talking about counters, okay, counting one. So uncountable, for example, coffee, uncountable. But if we put it in something, so coffee, right? It's just liquid. However, if we put co pour coffee, okay. So I'm going to show you an example here. I have, okay. So I have a coffee pot. I have a coffee pot. Inside there is coffee, okay? So coffee is liquid, right? It, it's moving around, it's liquid, so it's uncountable. However, cups, this is a cup and this is countable, right? One cup, two cup, right? One cup, two cups, yeah? So we could count the cups, but we can't count the coffee. However, if we put the coffee in a cup, then we can count. Okay, so I'm gonna put coffee in the cup. It's going in my cup. <laughs> I like, this is a nice example, yeah? Okay, so now there is coffee in the cup. So now we can count. We can count the cups, but we need of. Okay, we need of, O-F. So, I have a cup of coffee. Yes, I do. I also have a cup of water. So in water is uncountable. So we, if we put the water in a cup, we can count the cups. So I have a cup of water. Now, beer is liquid, uncountable. So a six pack of beer. Um, toothpaste is uncountable, but tube of toothpaste, okay? Cereal is uncountable, but box of cereal, okay? So box of cereal, bag of nuts, okay? So if, if we're doing the, if we're, okay, bat, okay, nuts are countable, right? There's nuts, okay? But the bag, okay? So anything can go in the bag. Okay, I guess, right? So, same thing with the, with the cup. Anything, we can put pineapple juice, we can put banana juice in here, we can put coconut water in here, we can put, we can put anything in this cup. So, what's in the cup, for, we have to use of. So, cup of coffee, cup of juice, cup of nuts, cup of flour, cup of sugar. So whatever we put in this, we, we need the of to, to um, explain what's in it. Okay. So what's in the bag? Nuts. So it's a bag of nuts. Um, what's in the box? Oh, cereal, a box of cereal. What's in the um, carton? Oh, ice cream, carton of ice cream. Okay. So that's Okay, <laughs> so uh, that little, little explaining. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, let's go to our, we have one more. 
Okay, bot. Okay, everyone's doing good. Everyone, great sentences. Oh, Radu, I bought expired food today by accident. Okay, this is my theory on expired food. Okay, so look at Radu. He said expired. So that means um, when you buy food in the market, there's probably a date, right? So today is February. 2021 right so let's say you buy something at the market and it'll say March okay so this is February so next month is March so if the packet says March 2021 that means um, the super the market must sell it by March or they have to throw it away right so let's say you buy it right it's let's say it's um, I don't know for example, uh, let's say orange juice, okay? You buy a carton of orange juice at the market and it'll say, for example, March, March 2021, okay? So let's say, okay, let's say January. It said today, this is February. Let's say you bought something and it said January. So it's past January, right? So. Um, most people go, oh, it's January, throw it away, throw it out. But what I do, I use my nose. I, I smell it. <laughs> I do the smell test or I do the eye and nose test. So if something, I buy something, the expiration date, right? So it's past the expiration date. It's past the expiration date. So what I do is like, oh, it says January 2021. It's February now, okay? So it's not so, it's not too old, right? It's not very old, one, one month old. So I'll do the eye and nose test. I look at it. Oh, it looks, it looks good. It looks normal, right? It looks fine. It looks normal. And then I smell it. It smells normal. It smells fine. It smells good. Okay, I think it's safe. <laughs> So I use my eyes, it looks good. I use my nose, smells good. Okay, it's safe and so I'll drink it. Mm. Where, so for me, I always, I don't do the date test, I do the eye and nose test. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, okay, let's do our next. Okay, we, oh, I, got, I can't re forget. We gotta keep the ball rolling keep the train on the track and keep keep the course right so keep moving okay here's one more we have we have three right okay here's one more here we go our next pattern i did i did i did i did i did okay so i did okay so this is our next pattern i did I did, I did, I did. Okay, so I want you to make sentences. I did sentences, please. I did. I did. Okay, okay, okay. I did, I did, I did. Okay, M Maria, I bought nothing because I'm stingy today. Okay, here we go, Maria. Please fix your sentence, Maria. I bought nothing because I'm stingy. I bought nothing because I'm stingy. I bought nothing because I'm stingy. Okay, so please, uh, Maria, one more time. Helga says, I did laundry yesterday. Good, fantastic. Okay, Lee Smith, I did my homework. Fantastic, Radu, I did a good deed today. Oh, 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 nice, nice. I did a good deed today. Nice, Radu. Radu, you are a very good person. You are very, you have a big heart. Radu has a big heart. Okay, Alice, I did the laundry yesterday. Lolly, I did my English homework yesterday. Oh, Lolly, you're always, you're always studying English. You're always studying English, huh, Lolly? Lolly is a great student. She's a student forever, right, Lolly? Lolly, you are a student forever. 
you will always be a student. Yeah, that's great. So Lolly will always be a student. Lolly will always be a student. And that's that we should all be students, right? That means we are learning, right? Students learn new things. So we should always be students in our life. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done, Lolly. Marion, I did it for you. Thank you, Marion. Marion says, I did it for you. I did it for you. Oh, I love that sentence. I did it for you. That's, that is a great sentence. Marion, thank you. I did it for you. That is a beautiful sentence. Everyone, let's, let's remember this sentence. It's very useful. It's a beautiful sentence. It's a, a loving sentence. It's a generous sentence. It's a giving sentence. So let's all do this together. I did it for you. I did it for you. I did it for you. Marco says, I did my house chores before going to bed. Okay, Marcos, I did my household chores before going to bed. I did my household chores before going to bed. I did my household chores before going to bed. Marcos, you're a good husband. I'm sure your wife is very happy with you. I'm sure. Ah, uh, Radu. Mwah. Radu, Radu. Okay, Tomas says, I did, okay, hmm, okay, so vacuuming is a verb, okay, so Tomas, it's better to say, I vacuumed this morning, okay, I did the vacuuming, okay, okay, here, okay, sorry, sorry, we need the, Tomas, here we go, please change your sentence, I did the vacuuming this morning okay so then that changes the, um, the 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 sentence I did the vacuuming this morning I did the vacuuming this morning Ava says I did patchwork yesterday I did patchwork yesterday I love to do it I love to do it Ava I love to do it I love to do it Devender I did okay I did dinner. Yeah, it's better. Okay, Devon, it's better to say I made dinner. I made dinner. I did. So we we won't we don't use did with dinner. I did dinner. We that's that's. I understand if you say I did dinner. I understand that. I understand. Okay, yeah, you made dinner, but that's. We don't put those two words together. We don't put did dinner together. So I would say I did. Um, hmm. Yeah, I did the dishes. We'd say that I did. Um, I did the preparations, right? So I did the preparations like getting dinner ready. Okay. Yeah, Marion. Nice one, Marion. Ava, I did nothing. I relaxed. Okay, Ava, I did nothing. I relaxed. I did nothing. I relaxed. I did nothing. I relaxed. Okay, um, Ida, I did for learn English. Okay, I did, I did my studying for English, or I did my homework for English, I did my reading for English, I did my writing for English, okay, I did my vocabulary practice for English, okay, so I did for learn English, we need like, what did you do, right, I, I did what, I did homework for English, I did um, my writing assignment for homework. I did my notebook for English. What, what did you do for English? What did you do to learn English? I did my best. Rita, I like that one too. I'm going to put, that's a great. See, these are inspirational 
sentences. I did my best. Nice. I did my best. That's another beautiful sentence, right? We should always do our best. Yeah, so that's great, Rita. I did my best. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay. Okay, Monk, I did set the alarm. Okay. I did set the alarm. Okay, that, that works. I did set the alarm. Yep, yep. Good one, Monk. Devinder. Okay. Yeah, I relaxed. So, Ava, I did nothing. I relaxed. I did nothing. I relaxed. Radu, I did my best not to say something out of order. Oh, Radu, is it hard for you to do that? You want to say something out of order, so you did your best to like control. Like, don't, don't say anything out of order. Don't say anything out of order. Don't say anything out of order. So is that hard for you, Radu, to, to keep quiet? <laughs> Radu, do you like talking a lot? So for Radu, for, for him to, to stay quiet, it's very difficult for him. He wants to, he has a natural reaction to speak, <laughs> to speak out, speak out of order. Mia, I, I did my exercises in the park. Oh, okay. Here we go. Mia. I did my exercises in the park. I did my exercises in the park. I'm, I did my exercises at the park. Either, either way is okay. Uh, Mia, you can say, so anything, both are okay. I did my exercises in the park. I did my exercises at the park. E either, either one has the same meaning okay so either one is okay both mean the same i did my exercises in the park i did my exercises at the park both have the same meaning okay tomas says so far i did lots of mistakes but now i try to do less good one good one tomas very good tomas Good, good sentence there. I did it my way. Marion says, I did it my way. So I don't care what other people say. I did it my way. I don't care if people laugh. I did it my way. I don't care what people say. I did it my way. I don't care what you, what they think. I did it my way. <laughs> All right, Marion. Oh, Ava, I did it with you. Yes, we did it, Marion. We, or no, no, I'm sorry, Ava. Yes, Ava, we did it together. I did it with you. Yes, we did it together. Yes, we did. Oh, okay. No, Sebu, I did helping my mom cook. No, no, no. I helped my mom with cooking. So it not did. Um, I did the cooking with my mother. Okay, that's okay. Here we go. I did the cooking with my mother. I did the cooking with my mother. Okay, here we go. Say, please um, write your sentence one more time. I did the cooking with my mother. I did the cooking with my mother. All right. Good, 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 good. Uh, Fran says, I did my best to learn English. Or oh, I did my best. I did my best for learn the English. Okay, okay, here we go, friend. I did my best. I did my best to learn English. I did my best to learn English. I did my best to learn English. Okay, friend. I did my best to learn English. Very good. Peter, I did my work. I did my work. Devender says, I did repetition of my English sentence. Yeah, good, good. Repetition is very good. So, that means like um, again and again and again. Practice, 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 practice. Very good. Marcos, I did my workout after. Oh, uh, okay. I did my workout after it rained. I did my workout after it rained. I did my workout after it rained. 
A for Anna. I did enjoy my day in an amusement park yesterday. I did enjoy my day at the amusement park yesterday in the amusement park. Okay, that, okay, that works. Okay, Sebu, I did the cooking with my mom. 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 Ava, I did a lot of work last weekend. Good, Ava. I did a lot of work yesterday. Alice, I did it carefully. Well done. It, or Alice, good, good, Alice. I did it carefully. I did it carefully. Very good. That's, that's a good way to do something. Carefully. Always do things carefully. Fran, I did my best to learn English. Yes. Good one, Fran. Radu, I did not find any aliens from Mars until now. Yeah, so NASA just landed a rover on Mars. Yeah, so just yes, or this morning or last night, they landed a rover on Mars and we're gonna see pictures of Mars. I'm looking forward to seeing the pictures of Mars, yeah. Okay, Tomas, I did break a glass. In luck, it was empty. Nice one. Yeah, say we're good. The cooking. Okay, Alexander, I did read a book for my granddaughter yesterday. I did read a book for my granddaughter yesterday. Very nice. It's good to read to children. It's always good to read to children. Radu, I did not see Mark drinking American tap water, only Japanese tap water, because I live in Japan, Radu. If I was in America, I would drink American tap water, but I'm here in Japan, so I am drinking Japanese tap water. Marion did it slowly. So, some people think I do my lessons too slowly. So I'm sorry. So, so Marion did it slowly. I, sometimes I do this slowly too. <laughs> Maybe I'm doing it slowly right now. So let's, let's change. <laughs> okay. Lee Smith, I did meeting with my, no, no, that we don't say that. I met with my friend. Okay, Lee, I met with my friend. I let, no, no, I met, I met with my friend. Okay, Lee, Lee Smith, I met with my friend. Oh, Marco says, I did a good job reading that book. I did a good job reading that book. Oh, Ava, I did it with a smile. Yes. There, I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm going to write that down. I did it with a smile. That, that has the same kind of idea here. Yes. Nice one. That was, that was Ava. Yeah, Ava. Well done. I did it with a smile. I did it with a smile. Always do everything with a smile. I try to do everything with a smile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good, good. I'm happy, Ava, you did it with a smile. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. I think we, it's now time for dictation cards. Yes, it's time for dictation cards. So you need a pencil and paper. You need a pencil and paper for our dictation cards, yeah? Before we do dictation cards, I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. Yes, I am. And I will upload, after we finish today, I'm going to upload this whiteboard to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. I put all the whiteboards onto my Facebook group page. All right? So I'm going to open my camera. Yeah, it's open now. And I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. Yes, I am. Right now you can't see me, but you can hear me. And here we go. Countdown. 
four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture. And then after today's lesson, I will upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. Okay, okay, okay. Lolly, she has her pencil and paper ready. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, um, so this is dictation cards. And we have, so today's dictation cards are made from the green team. Okay, so the sentences are from the green team and some are long. <laughs> of course, right? Our green team likes to write long sentences. <laughs> so here we are. And we have a few, okay? Here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's read it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, okay? And some of these are long. <laughs> Our green team likes long sentences, okay? So, um, our topic today is chicken out. Chicken out. So, I'm going, I'm going to um, dash, 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 dash. Okay, so our, I'll, I'll write it right here. So, chicken out. Chicken out. So, that means not to do it from fear, all right? So like, ah, I'm scared, I'm not going to do it. So chicken out is do something, be not do something because of fear. Okay, oh, Helga, to chicken out, to back down, to back out. So out of fear, okay? So to back out, out of fear. To back out, out of fear. Or because of fear. That's better. Back out because of fear. Okay, so to, to chicken out means to back out out of fear. Like not do it because of you're scared. Okay, and we have four steps. Let me go a little closer here. Okay, so we're four steps. Step one, dictation, of course. Then we will shadow. Um, we won't have time on your own. Let's, let's call it review, okay? Review because we have a lot of cards and the sentences are long. So we will, step three will be review. And then, quiz. Okay, so these are our four steps for dictation cards. Dictation, shadow, review, and quiz. All right. And our green team's cards are from, our green team cards are from Dr. Ramirez, Devender, Emily, Tomas, Fran, A for Anna, Sewu, Ava, Marion, and oh, Sophia, and Mighty. Okay, so those are our members today who who um, wrote sentences. Okay, so here we go. Are you ready? Do you have a pencil? Do you have paper ready? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. So, Sewu says, many times I do. So, Sewu chickens out many times. So, Sewu, many times I do. Many times I do. Okay. Oh, needle, pen, and pencil ready. Okay. Here we go. Stop shuffling. Okay, I stopped. <laughs> I stopped. 
friend, with that chicken out, no, 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 um, I chickened out. So that we wouldn't, with a chicken out, we wouldn't, that doesn't go together. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Sebu, many times. Many times I chicken out. Okay, here we go. Card number one. Number one, countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we, <laughs> all right, Kumari. Okay, here we go. Card number one. Countdown one more time. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't chicken out, just go for it. Don't chicken out, just go for it. Don't chicken out, just go for it. Okay, card number two. Come on, don't chicken out now. You can safely cross this suspension footbridge. Come on. Don't chicken out now. You can safely cross the, you can safely cross this suspension footbridge. Come on. Don't chicken out now. You can safely cross this suspension footbridge. Yeah, yeah, Silva. That's right, Silva. Card number three. Card number three. When I don't have the courage to do something, I chicken out. When I don't have the courage to do something, I chicken out. When I don't have the courage to do something, I chicken out. Card number four. I'm chickening out to do the interview. I'm chickening out to do the interview. I'm chickening out to do the interview. Number five, that girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. That girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. That girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. Okay, number six. Number six. When I broke my mom's jar, I didn't tell her. I chickened out. When I broke my mom's jar, I didn't tell her. I chickened out. When I broke my mom's jar, I didn't tell her. I chickened out. Nino, Nino says, stop. It's okay. We're going to, um, this is only step one. 
we're going to shadow. So, so Nito, you're going to have lots of practice, okay? So for the dictation, I just do it three times. It's a challenge, okay? So don't, if you don't have the whole sentence, that's okay. These are long sentences, so don't worry, okay? We're going to have lots of practice, all right? So um, for the dictation, I only read three times. So it's a challenge, right? It's a challenge, so don't worry if you just do your best. Do your best. If after time you will get better, you will. This is how to improve. Okay, this is how you're going to get better. Okay, here we go. Number eight. Number eight. I was going to jump, but I chickened out. I was going to jump but I chickened out. I was going to jump, but I chickened out. Okay, this is number, let's see, three, six, seven. This is number eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, this is number eight. Okay, number eight, card number eight. When I was challenged to jump in the frozen lake, I chickened out immediately. When I was challenged to jump in the frozen lake, I chickened out immediately. When I was challenged to jump in the frozen lake, I chickened out immediately. Okay, number nine. I always chicken out of swimming, so I can't swim. I always chicken out of swimming, so I can't swim. Alisa, hello. Mwah. I always chicken out of swimming, so I can't swim. Okay, number 10. Two more left, two cards left. This is card number 10. I chickened out to Jumbi. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> One more time. I chickened out to bungee jump. I chickened out to bungee jump. I chickened out to bungee jump. Me too. <laughs> Me too. No, I'm not going to bungee jump. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's too scary. I will chicken out every time. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know. I'm afraid I would hurt my body. <laughs> Here we go. Number 11, everybody. Last card. Here we go. Last card. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. When it was my turn to speak English, I stammered, but I thought, courage, don't chicken out of this challenge. Woo! Long sentence, everyone. Here we go. Number two. Can you do it? Can you do it, everyone? This is a long, this is a big challenge for everyone. Okay, here we go. Second time. When it was my turn to speak English, I stammered, but I thought, courage, don't chicken out of this challenge. Here we go, third time, can you do it? Can you do it? It's too, it's long, Mia, I know, it's long, it's long. It's a challenge, here we go. This is the last time, who can do it? Here we go. 
When it was my turn to speak English, I stammered, but I thought, courage, don't chicken out of this challenge. Okay, that was very long. Who did it? Who did it? I'm looking. I want to see. That was a long sentence. Did anybody do it? Radu says, when it was my turn to speak English, I stammered, but I thought, courage, don't chicken out of this challenge. Radu, you are, um, Radu, you are very, very clever. Radu, Gaga. Okay. No. Yeah, too long. Okay, yeah, Mia. Don't don't worry, Mia. So Mia says, um, it's too long and difficult for the beginners. So so Mia. So for the beginners. Okay, so um, we have in this here with us, we have many um, many levels of speakers here. We have beginners here, we have advanced learners here, right? And so what we do is we do interesting topics, right? So, so it's not really, I don't want you to think of level, right? I want you to think of um, like what we are learning, okay? What we are doing. And for the beginners, don't, the whole sentence, don't worry. Just parts, whatever you hear, write. Okay, so don't worry about mistakes. Don't worry about writing the whole sentence, right? Like this is very, very long, right? So don't worry. The important thing is just do your best and just what you hear, write down. Because then we're going to shadow. We're going to practice speaking. And so we're going to have lots of practice. So don't don't get discouraged. Don't worry. Oh, it's too long. I know it's long. And, but, you, you know, whatever you can do is good. And if you keep doing it, right, we do it every week. If you keep doing it, you will get better and better and better. And what's great about the dictation, you will see for yourself. Wow, I wrote a long sentence, right? So maybe now, maybe now you can only you know, you can't do the whole sentence. Too difficult. I can't. I don't understand everything. That's okay. What you understand, write down. But you will start like getting more and more and more and more. And you will see for yourself, right? You will, um, you will see just what you're writing. Wow, I wrote a longer sentence, right? So um, just don't, don't, don't get discouraged. Just you know, do your best. Do your best, okay? Okay, well done. Let's go to shadowing now, okay? So now we're going to shadow, and this is speaking practice, not writing practice. Writing practice is finished, yeah? Now this is speaking practice, and what I'm going to do is we're going to practice speaking each card three times, one, two, three, three times, but then I will show you the card, you will see the sentence, you will see the picture, okay? And you will understand, okay? So let's do shadowing. All right, here we go. Count, oh, Rita, when I, when it was my turn to speak English, I stammered, but I thought, courage, don't chicken out of this challenge. Rita, mwah! Very good, Rita. Very good, Rita. Well done. Okay, here we go. Now, okay, now, see everyone, okay, now, um, you can see Ava, okay? So Ava didn't get everything, that's okay, right? Ava said, when it was my turn to speak English, I, mm, but, mm, don't chicken out of this challenge. Okay, so that's great. So Ava, that's a long sentence. Um, she didn't get everything, but she got, you know, parts of it. Most of it she got. So just do your best, everyone, and um, don't worry, okay? Because learning takes time, right? So 
it doesn't happen quickly. It takes time. It takes, look at Lolly. Lolly, her English is great. And, but Lolly, like she practices a lot. She's always here every week. She, she studies hard. So it takes time. So Lolly knows, right? Lolly knows um, it takes time and it takes hard work. So if you're here for, you know, if, you're, if you come every week and you study hard, you will get better for sure. Okay, here we go. Shattering time. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Don't chicken out. Just go for it. 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 So this is say we sentence. So this means just go for it. Like do your best. Don't worry. Don't, don't think about the danger. Don't chicken out. Go for it. Don't, don't think about the danger. Don't chicken out. Just go for it. Okay, good. Okay, card number two. <laughs> yeah, Lolly's fantastic. Yes. Tomas says, Lolly's a teacher now. Yep, she could be. She's a nurse, but she could be a teacher for sure. Okay, here we go. Card number two. Come on, don't chicken out now. You can safely cross this suspension footbridge. Come on, don't chicken out now. You can safely cross this suspension footbridge. Come on, don't chicken out now. You can safely cross this suspension footbridge. Yeah, beginner, good, good. I'm happy to have, I want everyone here, right? Beginners, intermediate, advanced, right? Because we are doing stuff for everyone, right? So we are practicing interesting things, right? So we're not doing levels, we're not doing, class isn't for beginners, class isn't for intermediate, class isn't for advanced. We want just, we want to talk about interesting topics. We want to play games. We want to practice English. So if you're a beginner, great. If you're advanced, great. It doesn't matter. We are learning together. That's what we are doing here. Yes, right now. We are all learning together. Come on. Don't chicken out now. You can safely cross this suspension footbridge. And this is from Marion. This is Marion saying. So, okay. So this is a suspension bridge, footbridge. So between nothing. And footbridge means uh, you walk across. And it's usually like on a rope, right? So suspended on a rope, across, you know, a valley. And so it can be scary, right? Like, don't look down, <laughs> right? So you're walking along this footbridge. It's suspended by rope. So that means it's connected from here to here by rope. And if you look down, it can be very scary. <laughs> so don't chicken out. You can do it. Just look straight. Don't look down. <laughs> don't look down because it's scary. Just look across. Look, look at your goal. Look, look at the end. Don't look down. <laughs> okay, that's Marion. Okay, here we go. Three. When I don't have the courage to do something, I chicken out. When I don't have the courage to do something, I chicken out. When I don't have the courage to do something, I chicken out. When I don't have the courage to do something, I chicken out. This is Ava, Ava's sentence. So courage means, you know, to be strong, brave, courage. I can do it, right? I can do it. I'm not scared, right? Well, the opposite is like chicken. Oh, no, I'm scared. I don't want to do it, right? So um, when I don't have courage, 
right? So when I'm feeling scared, I chicken out, right? So let's say, for example, the foot bridge, right? Oh, that looks scary. I don't have the courage. I'm not going to do it. I chicken out. <laughs> okay, number four, number four. I'm chickening out to do the interview. 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 This is A for Anna. This is her sentence. So, <laughs> interview, right? So, um, interview is someone asks you questions, right? So, interview. Oh, um, how old are you? Oh, what's your, right? Like, why did you do this, right? So, interview. Um, someone's asking you questions. So, um, I'm chicken out. I don't want to do the interview. I don't want to answer the questions. I'm, I'm scared to answer the questions, all right? So, no, I'm not going to do the interview. I'm chickening out to do the interview. And this is A for Anna's sentence. Okay, number five. Num number five. That girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. That girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. That girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. Norman! Wow, Norman! That is very, very generous of you. Norman, that is very, very kind. Wow, that's a lot, Norman. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Norman, I'm surprised. I'm shocked. Wow, Norman, thank you so much. Mwah. Norman, that is too kind. That is too generous. Wow, that, that's a lot, Norman. Thanks, bye. Wow, wow. So, woof. That is very, very kind of you, Norman. Wow, wow, very, very kind. Special. Wow, Norman, thank you so much, Norman. Wow, wow, wow. Mwah. Norman, yeah, thank you. Wow, that, that's very, that was, um, that does a lot. Norman, that was a big one. Thank you so Wow, that's, I've never got a super chat that big. That is, <laughs> that is the biggest. Wow, Norman. Mwah. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much, Norman. Wow. I, I'm speechless, Norman. I don't know what to say. Um, thank you from my heart. Thank you. Wow. Whew. Okay. <laughs> I got to Got to continue here. That girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. That girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. This is from Sophia. Yeah, Norman is very, very generous. I'm very shocked. <laughs> I'm happy, of course. Of course, I'm very happy. Yeah, that, that's a big donation. That's a big, 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 big. Mwah. Um, this is from Sophia. And Sophia lives in South Africa, so this time is not convenient for her, but she she will see this video. She watches all the, the live streams. So, um, actually, Sophia watches all my videos. So, Sophia, love you. Very, very good. Like, Sophia is always um, commenting, always with me. So, this is from Sophia. And um, that girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask her for her phone number. So, I think um, that's always hard, right? So, um, 
asking, you know, someone for, like, if you're single, right, I'm, I'm married now, but I remember when I was single and you'd see, you'd see someone and you don't know them, but, you know, they, they look, I don't know, you have an attraction, right? You, you like their smile, you, you like, the way they look, you like the way they, t whatever, right? You like their personality, but you um, really don't know them. Or if you do know them, um, maybe they're in your class or you work together and you feel an attraction. You, you like that person, so you want to um, know them better. Maybe you want to go out to dinner or something like that. So you have to ask for their phone number, right? And so it's hard, right? It's very hard to do that. So we say, oh, don't chicken out, do it, do it, right? So, so Sophia is saying, don't chicken out, go, go ask, go ask for her phone number, don't chicken out. <laughs> okay, here we go, our next card, number six. Okay, when I broke my mom's jar, I didn't tell her I chickened out. When I broke my mom's jar, I didn't tell her I chickened out. When I broke my mom's jar, I didn't tell her I chickened out. When I broke my mom's jar, I didn't tell her I chickened out. Yeah, this is Dr. Ramirez. This is her sentence. Hello, Dr. Maris. How are you doing? Um, she, Dr. Maris lives in the Dominican Republic. Sometimes she's here, sometimes she isn't. But today I don't see her in the chat, but I'm sure she will watch this video. Um, so she wrote, when I broke my mom's jar, I didn't tell her, I chickened out. Maybe this happened to you. Maybe this has happened to many people, right? Where um, you, you break something and... Um, you're afraid to tell them, right? Because they'll get angry. And so maybe you, you don't tell them because you feel chicken, right? Like, oh, I, if I, if I, like, for example, Dr. Maris, maybe this jar is special. This is a special jar and she broke it by accident. Of course, by accident, she broke it, but she's scared to tell her mother because if, if she told her mother, her mother would be angry, right? So, Dr. Maris, keep her mouth shut. Don't tell her mother because she's afraid that her mother will get very angry. So she chickened out to tell her mother. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, here we go. Next one. Yeah, so maybe her mother's an MMA fighter. Maybe. And so if, if her mother's an MMA fighter, she'll like take her down and put her in a choke hold. <laughs> She'll choke her out. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I was going to jump, but I chickened out. Oh, Norman. Okay, I have to stop here. Norman says, uh, now I can tell you I am... Oh, oh, Norman's wife. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, oh, your, your name's difficult. Early day, early day, early day. From Brazil. Um, the phone is in Norman's name. I really like. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. Okay. Um, Urdede. Oh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Urdede. Urdede. We have many Brazilians here. So Rita's from Brazil. Marcos is from Brazil. Um, we have um, also um, Vilmar's from Brazil. So we have lots of Brazilians here. And so, um, okay. Urlede. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Urlede. Urlede. Thank you so much, Urlede. Mwah. Appreciate your kind, kind support. I really do. Very, very kind of you. Thank you. And if you have any requests or anything, I'm, I'm happy to help you if you have any requests that I can do for you. Okay, here we go. I was going to jump, but I chickened out. I was going to jump, but I chickened out. I chick I was going to jump but I chickened out. <laughs> no radu. Okay. 
This is from Devender. Devender's here right now. And this is Devender's um, sentence here. I was going to jump, but I chickened out. Yeah, so maybe it was too high, right? So like bungee jumping or something, right? So it's too high. I'm scared to jump, so I'm not going to do it. I'm scared to jump. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Next card. Yeah, so Tomas, Norman is a man's name, but um, Erlide is using her husband's phone, right? So, so she's using her husband's account. So, so her name isn't Norman. Norman is a, a man's name. Her name is Erlide, Erlide. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but um, welcome, welcome. All right, here we go. Next sentence. When I was challenged to jump in the frozen lake, I chickened out immediately. When I was challenged to jump in the frozen lake, I chickened out immediately. When I was challenged to jump in the frozen lake, I chickened out immediately. When I was challenged to jump in the frozen lake, I chickened out immediately. And this is from Fran. When I was challenged to jump in the frozen lake, I chickened out immediately. So I think Fran lives in Canada. She's French, but I think she lives in Canada. And so in Canada, it's frozen in Canada, right? It's frozen. It's too cold in Canada. It is too cold. Okay, good. Okay, Erlide. I'm going to change. It's not Norman. It's Ur I'm going to change. Okay, so Erlide. Oh, I'm, I'm saying your name wrong. I'm so sorry. So E R L. E I D E. Okay. Earl A day. Earl A day. Earl A day. Earl A day. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Next card. I always chicken out of swimming, so I can't swim. I always chicken out of swimming, so I can't swim. I always chicken out of swimming, so I can't swim. I always chicken out of swimming, so I can't swim. This is Emily, or no, Emily, Emily, Emily from Korea, Emily. She's not here right now in the chat. Emily, so her, her sentence, so, that means like she, she doesn't practice, right? So she can't do it, right? So if, if you, you have to practice to be able to do it, right? So for example, swimming, you have to practice, right? To swim. But Emily does not practice, so she can't do it, right? So if you, if you don't practice English, then you can't speak English, right? So you, you have to practice to do it. Practice, you, you have to practice. Okay, here we go. Card number 10. I chickened out to jump. Uh, I chickened out to bungee jump. I chickened out to bungee jump. I chickened out to bungee jump. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me. Okay, I'm, I'm going to learn to pronounce your name. Here we go. Hold on, let me do this and then I will um, say, I will practice your name. Okay, I chickened out to bungee jump. I chickened out to bungee jump. This is Tomas. Tomas is right here. This is Tomas's sentence. Uh-oh, so, so bungee jumping is very scary. Yes, it is. It's very scary. Okay, air lady. That's much easier, air lady. <laughs> I can, yeah, air lady. Okay, good, good, thank you. 
Air lady. I can, I can. Okay, that, I need help. I need help to pronounce your name. Yes, I do. Vilmar's here. Vilmar, air lady. Um, Vilmar's, he lives in um, Brazil. But I think maybe air lady, you live in California, maybe? I remember. I remember at the beginning, Norman told me, oh, my wife is learning English. She likes your channel. And then, but it just kept, but you, you don't have your own name in, on YouTube. So that's right. So I'm, I'm pretty sure you live in the States. Yeah, air lady? Okay, here we go. Card number 11. This is the long one, everyone. This is the big sentence. This is Miley likes big sentences, long sentences. So this is a very, okay, yeah, Michigan. Okay, not California, Michigan. And Air Lady, it's like cold in Michigan, yeah? I'm sure, I want to be back in Brazil, right? So in Brazil, it's, it's always warm in Brazil, yeah? So I'm sure you are shocked. So you must be in shock. Ah, oh, it's too cold here. <laughs> Okay, here we go. This is the long sentence. Here we go. When it was my turn to speak English, I stammered, but I thought, courage, don't chicken out of this challenge. When it was my turn to speak English, I stammered, uh, stammered, right? Like stutter, uh, right? I stammered, oh, but I thought, courage, don't chicken out of this challenge. So talking to yourself, right? So like, uh, don't chicken out, don't chicken out. Courage, courage, courage. Okay, one more time. When it was my turn to speak English, my turn to speak English, I stammered, oh, you know, you're nervous, you're stuttering, stammered, like, oh, oh my, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Ah. I stammered, but I thought, I thought, so I'm talking to myself. I thought, courage, courage, come on, Mark, courage, courage, courage. Don't chicken out, don't chicken out, don't chicken out. So you're talking to yourself. You're giving yourself courage, yeah? You're telling yourself, come on, come on, don't chicken out. You can do it, you can do it. Don't chicken out, you can do it. Don't chicken out of this challenge, right? So maybe, right, you're all, everyone's learning English, right? And so maybe if you have to um, say something, maybe you have to, if you, in a situation where you have to use English, maybe it's, you feel nervous, you feel scared, right? You're stammering, right? Like you're, you're stuttering, right? You're stammering. Tell yourself, come on, you can do it. Don't chicken out. Do it, do it, do it, yeah? So this is Miley's sentence. Nice one, Miley. So I think we could all learn from this. This is like very good sentence, very good for us to, to think about, yeah? It's, we have to encourage ourselves, right? Encourage like, when other people encourage you, like, come on, you can do it, right? They help you, right? They encourage you. But here, encourage yourself. Like, in your, think to yourself, okay, I can do it. Come on, don't chicken out. Challenge yourself. Come on, courage, courage. So you're, what you're doing is you're building your own confidence. You're building confidence yourself, yeah? Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, um, air lady. Hold on a sec. Um, when it was my turn to speak English, I stammered, but I thought, courage, don't chicken out of this challenge. When it was my turn to speak English, I stammered, but I thought, courage, don't chicken out of this challenge. So nice words, Miley. We could all learn from this for sure. Okay, um, okay. So so Airly's been living in Michigan for 14 years. So maybe you're used to the to the cold, yeah. <laughs> but I, my friend 
lives in, well, my friend, he's, he lives in Japan and he's from Michigan. And I've seen pictures, like you have the Great Lakes, yeah. So I'm sure in the spring and summer, it's beautiful, but winter, it's too cold, yeah, air lady. Okay, good, good. Yeah, Devin, I don't know how to, you guys, you guys can do that. Anyways, I'm not sure how we can do that, but um, yeah, we, we do that kind of on Zoom once a month. But um, anyways, let's, okay, good job. Shadow, we shadowed. Okay, now let's review, okay, because I'm looking at the clock. We are way, o we are over time. Yeah, so I'm sure there's lots of good ways to do that. A for Anna says a telegram group. Yeah, so here in the chat, you guys can um, think of ways that you guys can um, get together. Um, I'm very, very busy, and so it's hard for me to do that. You know, I, I spend um, my time. Um, making videos, making, you know, all the materials, right? And so that's how I spend my time. And um, you guys can get together and um, do that. So I've heard of Telegram. I'm not sure, but I've heard that name. That, that's like, a, right? I'm not sure, but you guys can um, figure that out. Okay. Um, let's review, okay? So let's look at it one more time. And let's, let's say these together. Okay, let's say these together. Here we go. Don't chicken out, just go for it. Don't chicken out, just go for it. Don't chicken out, just go for it. Come on, don't chicken out now. You can safely cross this suspension bridge. Come on, don't chicken out now. You can safely cross this suspension bridge. Come on, don't chicken out now. You can safely cross this suspension bridge. When I don't have the courage to do something, I chicken out. When I don't have the courage to do something, I chicken out. When I don't have the courage to do something, I chicken out. I'm chickening out to do the interview. I'm chickening out to do the interview. I'm chickening out to do the interview. Ah, uh, Mendez, thank you, Mendez. Samara, hello, you're welcome. That girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. That girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. That girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. When I broke my mom's jar, I didn't tell her. I chickened out. When I broke my mom's jar, I didn't tell her. I chickened out. When I broke my mom's jar, I didn't tell her. I chickened out. I was going to jump, but I chickened out. I was going to jump, but I chickened out. I was going to jump, but I chickened out. When I was challenged to jump in the frozen lake, I chickened out immediately. That means now, soon, soon, immediately, now. When I was challenged to jump in the frozen lake, I chickened out immediately. When I was challenged to jump in the frozen lake, I 
chickened out immediately. I always chicken out of swimming, so I can't swim. I always chicken out of swimming, so I can't swim. I always chicken out of swimming, so I can't swim. I chickened out to bungee jump. I chickened out to bungee jump. I chickened out to bungee jump. When it was my turn to speak English, I stammered, but I thought, courage, don't chicken out of this challenge. When it was my turn to speak English, I stammered, but I thought, courage, don't chicken out of this challenge. When it was my turn to speak English, I stammered, but I thought, courage, don't chicken out of this challenge. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the review. Good, good, good. Now, it's a quiz. Whoa! -ho -ho. Well, for the quiz, I'm going to um, shuffle the cards again. So, different order. All right, so now the cards are in a different order. And I'm going to take the top three cards, and then I want you to write the sentence in the chat. This is a challenge for sure, because these are long sentences, many cards. So, who can do it? Who can do it? Here we go. Number one from the, for the quiz. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. What is the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. <laughs> This is the first one. This is Sewu's. Sewu, Sewu, Sewu. This is Sewu's sentence. Number one. Quiz card number one. Please, please write the sentence in the chat. It's a challenge. Lots of cards. Long sentences. Do you remember? Do you remember the sentence? Helga. Don't chicken out. Just go for it. Just go and do it. Peter, don't chicken out. Just go for it. Marion, don't chicken out. Just go for it. Sewu, don't chicken out. Just go for it. Devender, go for it. Don't chicken out. Okay, same meaning, Devender. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, same meaning, Devender. Okay, Lee Smith, don't chicken out. Just go for it. Alice, don't chicken out. Go for it. Yeah, Helga, go for it. A for Anna. Don't chicken out. Just go for it. Eva, don't chicken out. Just go for it. Samuel, don't chicken out. Just go for it. Maria, don't chicken out. Just go for it. Radu, don't chicken out. Just go for it. Vera, don't chicken out. Just go. Devender, Tomas, do not chicken out. Just go and do it. Yeah, same, same meaning there. <laughs> Tomas, same meaning. Okay. Alice, don't chicken out. Just go for it. Radu's always got to have something different, right, Radu? Just shake the alien's hand. Don't chicken out. Maha. Don't chicken out. Just go for it. Yes, Maha. Okay, good. And the sentence is, yeah. Don't chicken out. Just go for it. All right. Here we go. Number two. Number two. What is the sentence? What is the sentence? Here we go. This is number two. We're doing three. So, what is the sentence what is the sentence <laughs> what is the sentence this is number two what is the sentence
Number two, this is Sophia's sentence. Hey, Nor. Syrah. Okay. <laughs> Syrah. So a lot of the, your, your names are different, right? What I see written is different, right? Syrah. Okay, Helga. That girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. Oh, Peter. That girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out and ask for her phone number. Okay, Tomas, no problem. It's, it's, a, it's long, difficult, and we had lots of cards, so don't worry. No sweat. Okay, Sebu. That girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. Good, good. Devender, she smiles. Um, she smiles you. Don't chicken out. Just go ask her name and phone number. Yeah, okay. So, Devender, she's smiling at you. Don't chicken out. She's smiling at you. She's smiling at you. Don't chicken out. Alice, that girl smiled at you. Don't, don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. Okay, Lee Smith, that girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. Samuel, that girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. Marion, that girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. Okay, I, um, air lady. Okay, air lady. Good. Um, Vera, that girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. Radu, that girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. Good. A for Anna. That girl is smiling at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask her phone number. Go and ask for her phone number. For her phone number. Okay, Ava, good. Okay, Ava, you, she's, Ava just doing her best. That girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Good, good. Yeah, Nito. Don't chicken out. Go for it. Oh, oh, air lady. Don't worry. Yeah, this, this is, these, these are hard, air lady. Don't worry. Don't worry. Little by little, okay, air lady. You know, step by step, step by step. Okay, here is the sentence. That girl smiled at you. Don't chicken out. Go and ask for her phone number. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, one more card, everyone. Here we go, last card. Okay, what is the sentence? Ready? This is number three of the quiz. Last card. This is from Dr. Ramirez. What is the sentence? Yeah, Ava, go and ask for her phone number. Go and ask for her phone number. Oh, uh, you're welcome, Vera. Y yeah, yeah, air lady, this, this is, these are difficult. These are difficult because I didn't do it. <laughs> so, I, these are from the, the green team, yeah, the people in green. These are their sentences, and they like long sentences. <laughs> they made, I didn't make it difficult. The green team made it difficult. <laughs> they made long sentences today. Okay, Rad Dew's on the board. When I broke my mom's jar, I didn't tell her I chickened out. Helga, when I broke my mom's jar, I didn't tell her I chickened out. Say, when I broke my mom's jar, I didn't tell her I chickened out. Devender, I broke my mom's jar, but I chickened out to tell her. Oh, okay, that that works. Devender, that that same meaning, that works. Yeah, air lady, don't worry. 
you know, it's, it's a challenge. It's good, right? Um, it's good to have like easy and difficult, right? So we want to like mix it up, right? We don't want to be all easy. We don't want to be all difficult, right? So we want both. And that's, that's a good way to learn, right? It, it's, it's like a roller coaster, right? It's like uh, difficult, 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 oh, easy, whoa, difficult, difficult, uh, right? And so we go up and down, up and down. So today is up, 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 up. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, it's difficult, it's difficult, but that's okay. That's okay. It's good, right? We're here learning together, right? We're, we're experiencing things. And, and this is from you guys, right? These are from the green team. I, I didn't do it. So, so this is like, you guys are doing this yourself, right? All I did is made the cards, yeah? And we're practicing together. That's all I did. Okay, good job, everyone. Yep, yep. Here we go. This is the sentence. Well, here we go. When I broke my mom's jar, I didn't tell her. I chickened out. Yep. I always chicken out too. <laughs> I don't tell. I, my wife, when my wife gets angry, I chicken out. I run away. <laughs> when my wife gets angry, I, I run away. <laughs> I know her face. Like, oh, okay, she's angry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go now. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to go exercise. <laughs> okay. Well, the green team. Yeah, this is their cards. The green team. Yes, yes. Well done, everyone. Today, it was a challenge, yeah? Well, I think we had both, yeah? So we, we had both today. Right, so I think, you know, we had what is it? Yeah, we did that. That wasn't so difficult. That was a review, right? So this wasn't difficult. Then we did which is better, which are better. So this is like your own opinion, right? Just what you think about it, right? So that's, you know, your opinion. So it could be anything, anything's okay, right? Then we did, um, we did these sentences, and you did that, right? So you can have a short sentence, long sentence, right? So it's up to you, right? And, but our last part was our dictation cards, and this was difficult, right? So we had, I think we had everything today. Yeah, I think, actually, I'm really happy with today's lesson. We, we had lots of, you know, we, I think we did it all. We did, we did you know, easy, we did, you know, intermediate, and then we did, you know, advanced. So, so I thought today we, we did it all. So, yeah, so we, we had, you know, we, we were going down and then up. We were going down and up. So we're, when I say down, we were like this, like, um, like sliding down, right? So having fun, going down, woo, like a roller coaster, right? You're like, shoo, going down. And it's easy and it's fast and it's thrilling and it's fun, but then going up, right? It's slow. Right? And it's like, oh, when is it gonna stop? Right? And you start getting nervous, right? Because you know you're gonna go down. So so kind of like today's lesson was like that. So we went down and then we went up. So okay, yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm looking at the clock. We are way over time. Two and a half hours today. And we didn't do Lolly's Revenge, so we will do that on Tuesday. Today is Friday here in Japan. It is, today is February 12th, and we will be back. I will be back on Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday, February 20, 23rd, right? 23rd. I'll be back here, and um, I hope to see you. Don't chicken out. Go for it. Yes, Gaga? Don't chicken out. Go for it. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. And um, yeah. So um, thanks so much. I want to say thank you, Lolly. Special thank you. So th this is time for me to say special thank you, right? Lolly, thank you so much. Mwah. And Air Lady, today, super, super generous of you. Air Lady, thank you so much. And um, I really appreciate your kind, kind support. Mwah. And um, I want to tell the green team thank you very much because you guys are 
supporters of the channel. You make it happen. You can see the green team in the chat. Their names are in green. That means they are members. They join the channel. They support me so I can support you. And um, if you like my videos, if you like my, my content, please consider um, helping me so I can help you um, join the channel and get your name in green. And um, anyways, thanks. Yeah, so um, Lee Smith is a new member. So um, thank you, Lee Smith, for, for joining the channel. I appreciate that. Mwah. Okay, good, good, good. All right, well, um, it's time to say goodbye. It is Friday. Have a great weekend, everyone. Be safe. Um, be healthy. Smile, right? It's very important to smile. Um, do it with a smile, right? I did it with a smile. So everyone, do it with a smile. So whatever you do, do it with a smile. Um, the other people will be very happy. Okay, so let's say goodbye together. Let's count down together, all right? So let's count down. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thanks so much. Have a great weekend and um, stay smiling. <laughs> smile, well, you, smile when you do it, right? Do it with a smile. Do it with a smile. Bye-bye.